All right, somebody sent me a message yesterday and reminded me that a couple of weeks ago I did a video and I said that I will do another video and talk about our uh, weight loss and health. Uh, so stick around for a minute and we'll talk about that. All right, so I'm going to try to get through this kind of quickly. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video and, and we'll try to continue the conversation if you want. I'm not going to uh, I, I could probably talk about this stuff for two hours and uh, don't want to do that. But, um, you know, a, a, in the past several years, actually for over 15 years, we've been going to doctors and neurologists for Tammy's health for her migraines. And um, then in 2020, she was diagnosed with what's called chronic active Epstein-Barr virus, which is uh, it's the same virus that causes the mono. So most people will get mono when they're 18 or 20, you know, the kissing disease. And then uh, they're sick for a few days and then they never deal with it again the rest of your life. In rare cases, it becomes chronically active and uh, it causes all kinds of problems. So like she could wake up any day and be in bed all day feeling like she has mono. And last year we spent um, quite a bit of time at the beach on the weekends and the mornings. And um, I noticed before during the summer that she was just generally healthier. And then last year, there was a distinct change that happened. We were doing this almost every weekend for four or five months. And then in the fall, snowbirds started to come to South Florida. Traffic changed. Weather started to change a little. Uh, Tammy's mom and brother both bought places here and moved here. So one's five minutes in one direction, one's five minutes the other direction from us. And we quit going and quit getting in that morning sun. And within a couple of weeks, she started to get sick. And so when she started to have these problems, I immediately said, this has got to be a vitamin D issue. And then I went down a deep rabbit hole. <laughs> um, I started to research and learn all these things about genetic testing and how uh, your genes can cause you to be deficient in certain areas, but not others. Um, and one of her problems was this gene called the MTHFR gene. And this gene has to do with vitamin B12. The other thing that really um, stood out was, you know, the sun is the vitamin D. It, your skin produces vitamin D. And vitamin D, a lot of people say that's arguably one of the most important things to the human body. So I went down this rabbit hole and had her do the testing. Uh, not only does she have one of the common mutations for that, that gene that affects B12, she had two of them. She had both common mutations. So we started some supplements. Uh, methylated b12 vitamin d3 with k2 i think she's on a couple others like b3 or something and vitamin a retinol for hair and uh we almost immediately started to see some health changes for both of us and that also led us to start working with uh you know focusing on organic and non-gmo foods and i had always thought that some of this stuff was bogus. I you know I, I thought, well, there's just done something else for somebody to market and charge you extra for. And it turned out that a lot of the food that we eat uh, is enriched and fortified. What's that mean? It means that they have chemicals on it, man-made chemicals. So all of our breads, when you look at our bread, our grains are treated with folic acid, which is a synthetic B12 vitamin that almost half the people on earth can't metabolize. So we cut out all that. We started buying on most of our food at Whole Foods, started focusing on organic, non-GMO foods. And I know there's a lot of little things about that, that, that you know, organic may not mean organic if they're not testing the soil and all that. But if you're eliminating a large part of it, then you don't do, you know, do the best you can with it. Just like when we go out to eat now, a lot of times, or if we go on a cruise or something like that, if we're traveling, we do the best we can. We know we can't stick to it 100%, but we do the best we can. And it's not like being on a diet like Atkins or keto diet or anything like that where we have to stick to a certain regimen or whatever. We can eat whatever we want for the most part as long as it's within that spectrum of organic, non-GMO, and non-enriched, and non-fortified, and staying away from those things boy were the changes you know really kind of startling so if i go back to 2022 at the beginning of 2022 i weighed 278 pounds i'm 6'5 so i carry it pretty well but then i lost 50 pounds that year 
and I put on a few pounds after Hurricane Ian because the gyms were closed. So this picture here is me at probably 200 and between 230 and 235. Look how round my face is, how bloated I am. And so I only weighed about 15 pounds more in that picture than I weigh right now. Um, I lost all that bloat. Uh, this all happened within a few weeks time. I, I lost all kinds of weight. I lost about 20 pounds with no other change. I wasn't going to the gym yet this year when we started this. And you can see now, you see what I look like now compared to that picture. Um, and it was really kind of mind blowing. I, I really, uh, it really became kind of bitter about our food supply. You know, 85% of our food in the supermarkets, general supermarkets is designed to give us calories and taste. And that makes us crave more because we don't get what our bodies really need. That's my interpretation of it. And so we've knocked out all that kind of stuff, knocked out you know, almost all fast food. Um, one of the things for me, and this is where everybody's different. You know, I suffered from gout for about 15 years. I always have gout, uh, high uric acid. When I go back and looked at my blood work when I was 35 years old, I had high uric acid then. Nobody told me. And um, they always said, you know, no meat, no alcohol, no seafood, no sh especially shellfish, no mushrooms, no, you know, the, the beer, or anything like that. Uh, and if I did any of that stuff, I would have gout. As a matter of fact, I went vegetarian for almost a year. And it did help, but I spent most of my time looking for things that tasted like meat, so I quit doing it. Anyway, um, this uh, problem with uric acid and causing gout, I had two kidney stones from it. Um, when we moved to Florida, and I, I pretty much quit eating red meat. I didn't mean, I, I, it was just natural because I love seafood. And after I eliminated red meat, I can have everything else and my uric acid is normal. So everyone's different. So... That tells me that right there that the doctors didn't really know what they were doing. Uh, my problem with a lot of doctors, <clears throat> maybe most uh, do of the doctors, um, is that they don't really fix anything. They just prescribe a chemical pill to treat your symptoms so that you'll feel better and you'll come back and take another one tomorrow. And, you know, as it, it, people laugh when I compare this, but when I worked in IT, I worked in IT for like 25 years and I was a big problem solver. That's my big thing. I love to solve problems and fix things. If I didn't fix the problem and if I had to go back to someone's office and address an error on their computer every day, but I never fixed that problem, that would be a big problem for me. I would not have that customer for very long. But as patients, for some reason, we just go back to doctors and keep doing what they say. It's a recurring business, recurring revenue model. And I just uh, had a real problem with that. So uh, we made those changes, organic, non-GMO foods, taking our right supplements. We took, uh, did the genetic test. We got it from Max Gen. It was like 200 bucks. Uh, you do a saliva swab, send it off. You get your results back in like four to six weeks or something. And it tells you what you need to add to your diet or what you need to avoid and everything. That's all we really did. Um, we don't feel like we're on this diet that one day we're going to quit doing it and get fat again. Uh, just doesn't work that way now. Uh, it's, it's not like being on a diet. Uh, we just literally change where we buy our food. And as you can see, <laughs> you know, look at my face. Slender, trim, and again, I'm only... 15 pounds roughly less than what I was in that picture I showed you a minute ago. 15 pounds on a body that's six foot five is nothing. And yet it looks like I probably lost another 50 pounds from that. Um, so there you have it. I just wanted to share that information. Somebody asked me about it because I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. Hope that's helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video.